Wait, the lights are on? Uh oh, I smell something burning. Something burning. Uh oh, something's burning. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Uh oh, that's a fire. Uh oh. Okay, introduction time because we're one month into this and I totally forgot to film this so that everybody's like, you need to film this. Uh, yeah, so we're building a Gambler 500 BMW and the idea is like, game developer tries to build a real thing. Wow! But I definitely need a lot of help. Michael. So he runs a tow truck company and we know this BMW is going to break down like every day. So, uh, well, I really hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not either. Um, but, That's kind of the goal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but he's really good with cars, and uh, we also got the BMW out of his yard, so he's the one that provided the car. Um, you know, knows a lot about vehicles and like I like the winches stuff because off road recovery as well. So. Oh yeah, he also does off road recovery because we also know we're gonna get stuck. I'm the vehicle lead for Beam and G. I also do 3D art and uh, vehicle design. And so yeah, that's the craziest part is I do all this in-game video game art stuff and then trying to build a real life vehicle. Super crazy, it's such a different world. Hey guys, Tate Morgan, Gamma 500. I just want to pop on here and say how excited I am about partnering with BMNG. I've been such a huge fan of theirs. The ability to create and explore open realms and, and physics and create your own games. It's just such an awesome opportunity. It's such a great pairing for us where we don't really have any bounds on what we create and where we go and, and how we do it. It's the rally. It's just all about fun and excitement, as is uh, everything with BMNG. If you guys were wondering what the Gamma 500 is, it's an off-road navigational challenge utilizing fun, cheap, or impractical cars. Like this crazy thing. Oh, yeah. oh, I you over here. Or this big crazy thing. Or this. Or this. Really, it's about whatever you have. Run what you brung, or, or, or you can get as crazy as your imagination gets, just like what you guys do inside of Beam NG. Roscoe. <laughs> I think Roscoe wants to be in. There it is. Yeah. So this is Jonathan. He's one of the best fabricators I know, so also another amazing person for the team. And he has this fabrication shop, and he's letting us use it, yeah. and somehow trusting me with power tools. I don't know if you should. You I would. Should. I'm not trusting you. Anyways, this is um, this is the Gambler build. So, yeah, this is our fancy, nice uh, '95 Gambler. Uh, yeah, 1995 525i. So did your tow yard provide this fine vehicle? Yes, it's uh. <laughs> It was a vehicle we've had for quite a while, uh, just sitting there sideways because it was very much blown up on this side with no uh, no shocks uh, connecting anymore, no coilovers, <laughs> and then the tires being completely destroyed. Like they were just a little bit of rubber along the edge. Oh, wow. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, we, uh, we just had this sitting forever and he wanted it for the BMW stuff because it was like, cool gambler mm -hmm. car. Sure. This thing looks awesome. So Jared, yeah, how do you rate this car on all the junkyard cars that you've taken uh, apart? This is probably the grossest. It's only like this a few pounds of dirt, but oh god, yeah. Okay, I'm so mad. I can't even find the bolts for the seats. There's so much dirt in there. Uh, what have I got myself into? Like I'm, I'm literally using a shovel to find the seats, to find the bolts to remove the seats. <laughs> Please help me. So, Michael. Yes. Can we find the keys? Absolutely not. <laughs> we dug through so much dirt. So much dirt, so much junk. So much junk, and we couldn't find it. So much things that are wet that couldn't be wet because like... Oh yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was moisty in there, which is not, which is like, not good. Musky, musky. very musky. <laughs> yeah, exactly, very musky. So, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think we I'd say we got a couple more things we can try to do. Yeah. Uh, and then if not, we have plenty of other cars to choose from. Yeah, we're, uh, we were hoping it'd be a lot easier. Turns out, yeah, BMW's, like, security system's pretty good. So it's really hard to bypass. Okay, so just title. And eighty-five dollars. Wait, eighty-five bucks, and that includes like um, programming the chip in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it comes ready to go. Oh wow, I might just order it right now then, if that's the case. Because, like I said, I already tested a few things with that thing, and it looks like it's it'll just start. 
I can't believe it, wow, okay. Inner energy time. Michael, how does, that, how does that make you feel? I am so happy this car is not busted. <laughs> uh, me too. 